Um, so next speaker will be Cindy Vavro, who will talk about the efficacy and safety of the two drug regimen, dolutegravir lamivudine, in ART naive adolescents with HIV, the DAN study week 48 results, and she's uh, coming to us from the United States. Cindy? Thank you. And on behalf of my co-authors and myself, um, um, we welcome the, the pleasure to present our 48-week findings from the dance study. My disclosures. Uh, by way of introduction, uh, we know that the two-drug regimen of dolutegravir 3TC has been found to be both effective and well-tolerated um, during its initial treatment in adults. And um, our, our clinical trials in adults have gone out uh, more than three years now, and so we've shown long-term effectiveness of this two-drug regimen in uh, the adult population. We also know that international guidelines recommend dolutegravir 3TC as initial art for most adults starting treatment. However, there is no corresponding recommendation um, uh, currently for adolescents um, with regards to receiving a two-drug regimen. And we've already learned in the early sessions of this meeting that the adolescent um, uh, patients with HIV remain an underserved and a vulnerable population and in need of these potent two-drug regimens um, for their treatment. And so with this as background, we set out to study the efficacy and safety of dolutegravir 3TC in adolescents um, who were naive to antiretroviral treatment. This is the schematic of our study. The DANCE study was a single arm, uh, open label uh, study that evaluated the fixed dose combination of 50 milligrams dolutegravir and 300 milligrams of 3TC as the initial um, uh, treatment for adolescents. We, our study took place over nine centers in three countries, Thailand, South Africa, and Kenya. Um, you can see on the slide the eligibility criteria for uh, our study. Um, patients needed to weigh at least 25 kilograms and uh, they needed to have an HIV-1 RNA at screening between 1,000 and 500,000 uh, copies. There are a number of additional criteria shown on the screen as well. This morning, or this afternoon, we're going to be presenting our primary endpoint data at week 48. However, the DANCE study is still ongoing and will produce data out to 144 weeks. The primary endpoint for the study is to assess the proportion of, of participants who reach uh, less than 50 copies uh, through the first 48 weeks of treatment. The analysis that we use for our study is the FDA snapshot algorithm, and our population is identified as an intent to treat exposed um, population for analysis. During the conduct of dance, uh, one site closed for concerns related to good clinical practice noncompliance. As a result, two participants at the site did not have opportunity to reach um, week 48. In our intent to treat analysis, these two participants would be adjudicated as treatment failures. However, when we reviewed the clinical data for these two patients, we saw that they had had good study efficacy leading up to their last study visit and had tolerated drug well. And so given this, the study team performed a sensitivity analysis. And you'll see on subsequent data slides uh, the presentation of findings from both our intent to treat population as well as the sensitivity analysis removing these two patients. Our key secondary endpoints are shown on this slide, and we also performed steady state pharmacokinetics on a subset of patients in our study. So here we have the patient um, demographics and baseline characteristics. We screened 60 patients into our, uh, for the DANCE study and recruited 32 uh, of those patients screened. 
Um, I'll just highlight a couple of the baseline characteristics for our trial. The median age was 17. Um, we had a 34% female representation. Uh, we had 59% of our participants Asian and 41% of our patients um, black or African American. The median HIV-1 RNA at our study start was 4.59 uh, log 10 copies per mil. And you can see the additional baseline characteristics shown on this slide. Now, when we look at the patient disposition through 48 weeks, um, we're looking at um, uh, how well did patients um, uh, move through the study. And we noted that five patients um, withdrew from study before the 48-week analysis period. I've just described two of those five patients to you. They withdrew due to, due to site closure. We had an additional two patients withdraw um, due to loss to um, follow-up uh, um, and withdraw consent. And we had one participant that experienced a drug-related adverse event and withdrew from study. I'll describe this patient in a bit more detail in a subsequent slide. So for our primary um, uh, analysis, we found that the efficacy in the DANCE study for adolescents receiving dolutegravir plus 3TC um, was high. For our intent to treat population, we had 81% uh, of our patients reaching the threshold of less than 50 copies. And in our censored sensitivity analysis, we had an efficacy uh, proportion of 87% reaching the threshold of less than 50 copies. We had no participant in our study um, <clears throat> meeting our confirmed virologic withdrawal criteria, and as such, we had no resistance testing to perform. So um, we want to frame up the results of the DANCE study alongside the, um, the longstanding adult data for this two-drug regimen. And here we present the DANCE findings for efficacy at week 48 alongside the very large uh, pooled population of the Gemini studies, um, uh, which, which provide an adult-related uh, uh, um, patient population to our dance study. Here you can see that the efficacy for dance is very similar to that that was seen in adults. The numerical differences that we see in the dance study may be uh, attributed to the small uh, recruitment number for our trial. With only 32 patients, each participant in the study contributes 3% to the overall efficacy. So you can see in an adolescent study, every patient counts. Now moving on to our immunolo immunology findings, um, when we looked at the change from baseline in absolute CD4 cell number, we noted for our trial at, through week 48 an increased CD4 cell um, count of 224 cells per millimeter cubed. Uh, through the 48-week uh, testing period. Moving on to safety, um, <clears throat> um, I mentioned earlier that we had one drug-related adverse event reported in our trial that led to uh, study discontinuation. Uh, this participant uh, experienced a grade three decrease in GFR and as a result needed to come off study drug. Um, you can see from the um, summary uh, on the panel to my left um, that um, we had um, one drug-related uh, uh, adverse event leading to study discontinuation. We had only two uh, SAEs, and we had no drug-related SAEs. In review of the safety data for dance, we noted that um, the safety findings for dance were no different than those that we had seen in the adult uh, population. We did not identify any new safety concerns in adolescents receiving dolutegravir and 3TC. 
On this slide, we're showing again the dance study uh, compared alongside the Gemini study, and you can see very comparable um, uh, comparisons with regards to ad any adverse event, drug-related adverse events, any serious adverse event, and adverse events <laughs> leading to study discontinuation. So, you have lastly, one minute left, please. So, and lastly, we um, um, looked at the pharmacokinetics of dolutegravir and 3TC in the dance study. Here you can see the um, uh, AUC, CMAX, and CTROF for both dolutegravir and 3TC in dance. And in the second and third rows, we have framed up our pharmacokinetic results alongside a relevant pediatric population as well as a relevant adult population. And here we show that the pharmacokinetic parameters for dolutegravir and 3TC sitting in our dance study is very consistent with that seen in historical data. And finally, our conclusions for the dance study have shown that uh, dolutegravir 3TC fixed dose combination has demonstrated high clinical efficacy in antiretroviral naive adolescents with HIV. Um, and our data was very similar to that seen in the larger adult studies receiving uh, dolutegravir and 3TC. We had no confirmed virologic withdrawals in our study. The safety profile for dolutegravir 3TC um, in our dance study was very similar to that seen in adults. Um, and the uh, PK parameters for both dolutegravir and 3TC were comparable to the observations that um, uh, we've seen in previous pediatric as well as adult populations. Um, and finally, results of the DANCE study provide evidence for the use of dolutegravir 3TC in adolescents aged 12 to less than 18 years, weighing greater than 25 kgs with HIV. Thank you.